you have you have the high school uh, among like think to be differently from the other backs considering that a lot of them played for the turn and got straight delivery like what differently did you do like in your mindset what different you do from others no i did, uh, to be honest i didn't do anything different uh, when you're playing on a pitch like that uh, we've spoken this many times before that you need to have an intent uh, you need to look to score runs as well uh, because you can't just keep blocking uh, as we saw you know odd ball might just turn odd ball might uh, odd uh, ball might just get on uh, onto the stumps if you play for the turn uh, so it's important uh, to keep that intent and you know try and use your feet try and do as many things as possible uh, you know to stay ahead of the bowlers mindset because it's very very important when you're playing on a pitch which has lot to offer to the bowlers you just need to be slightly ahead of the bowlers at times and need to make sure that you know you try and find ways to score runs so I, all i was thinking was trying to find ways to score runs my thought or my intent was not to survive uh, my intent was there to uh you know try and score runs as well uh, while uh, respecting the good balls uh, so that's all i tried to do uh, you know the pitch was uh, it was an interesting one uh, odd ball was like i said odd ball was just coming in and some was taking turn so uh, when you're batting on a wicket like that you need to have a clear mindset and which probably i think i did uh, unless i until i played that uh, sweep shot in the first inning on a pitch like this what is it that is required for any batsman to actually survive and have you been a part of such a weird test match as such as no i don't think so i mean uh, to be honest uh, there is on a pitch like that i mean which pitch didn't do anything uh, honestly speaking if if i look at and if i can recollect lot of the balls you know most of the batter got out was to a straighter delivery uh, you know we also as a batting unit made lot of mistakes uh, while batting uh, it's not just them but we also didn't bat well in the first innings pitch had nothing uh, as such no such demons as we call uh, there was nothing like that uh, you know it was nice nice pitch to bat on once you are in uh, you know you can score runs as well as we saw uh but uh, again you know you just need to apply and keep concentrating on a pitch like that because you know it's important to find ways to score runs and to find and to score runs you need you need to you need more concentration uh, on a pitch like that right uh, batsmen like you remain exception but do you agree that the skill set of the modern day even for the modern day indian batsmen to play spin on difficult stuff is where the ball is starting sharply has fallen has fallen has fallen um not not really i mean if you if you look at uh, the chennai test match the second test match i mean it was it was turning a lot hell of a lot than what it turned here what it did here uh, to be honest and um a lot of the batters got runs there in in the second test match uh like i said in this test match we have to be honest to ourselves and uh, accept that we didn't bat it well uh but in chennai which had a lot a lot more to offer than this pitch we batted well on that pitch you know we learned from our mistakes uh, you know guys applied themselves we uh, ashwin got 100 uh, ajinkya in the first innings got 50 virat got uh, 60 odd uh, in the second innings so you know if you apply yourself you you can still score runs uh, pant not to forget uh, scored of 50 as well if i'm not wrong uh, uh, so one game yes we we accept as a batting unit in in this test match we didn't bat it as we would have liked to but it is something that we need to just uh, take it to ourselves and get back to our drawing board and decide what we need to do when the ball is not spinning actually it didn't spin uh, you know most of the batters got out to a straight ball so we need to try and rectify those those things hey you know, with uh, jorut spoke about uh, the pink ball skidding on and how it was more difficult to play the pace rather than the spin mm. what do you, do you make of the pink ball yeah i think uh, to be honest yes it 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 was it 
came to the bat a little more faster than the normal red ball uh, and it has got to do more with with the conditions uh, you know in the evening we all know it gets slightly uh, the temperature goes down uh, maybe a degree or two uh, and plus the dew factor as well uh, but again over and uh, all in, all in all uh, i think you know uh, the pace of the pink ball is slightly quicker than than the red ball so it is something that we need to adjust as quickly as possible uh, you know and understand what we need to do whenever we play the pink ball test match in india it is going to behave like that uh, we've played this is our second pink ball test uh, in india the first one we played against bangladesh uh, was a completely different conditions uh, there was a lot more grass on the pitch uh, and a lot of carry uh, and when we play outside india it's it's more assisted to the seamers uh, and it, you know we we pretty much I uh, had no idea what it's going to do to the spinners uh, so it was a good learning for us to understand okay this is this is the pace of the pink ball normal ball when you when you play the red ball it doesn't come so quick uh, to the bat but again we need to understand uh, and whenever we play the next one we need to understand that you know we need to adjust we need to do slight adjustment uh, when we play the pink ball right uh, yeah beginning to your answer do you see it is because of the fundamental difference the issue उट and how about the sg uh, pink ball um but yeah i mean from from what i understand it it travels slightly quicker uh, when you're playing the spin bowling and obviously we all know it swings a little more than the red ball is there a, is there a kind of wicket where the team can justify getting out for 112 or 145 or 81 uh, so that the can you can you put the only blame to the wicket only in any 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 circumstances Can you? No, yeah, not really. Honestly speaking, I mean, if you look at if you look at the entire dismissal of uh, you know the thirty wickets that has been fallen, I mean, I don't see uh, anything that pitch did. The batsman didn't, you know, apply the technique. It is from our side also, not just them, but us also. Some of the shots uh, as a batting unit uh, we played. were not up to the standards uh and again i mean the pitch was completely fine uh, it seems a very normal pitch to me uh you know it is a typical indian wicket where you know it'll turn odd ball might just come in that is what the indian wicket is all about uh and you know we just made mistakes from our side uh having to understand that which shots we need to play uh, which ball was coming in uh, whether to play cut shot or not whether to go over the top or not whether to sweep or not so those are the things you need to understand when you when you're playing on a pitch like that you know in chennai we saw every ball was turning from the rough and all that there was no rough here uh, you know uh, akshar got most of his wicket which was just kidding on to the pads uh, on the on to the stumps uh, and the batsman missed the line that's all very simple uh, to be honest uh, you know uh, and it, we did the same i mean some of the shots as a batting unit we also played were not uh, you know up to the skills that we have uh, but it's a good learning we can understand from this that you know it was a ping ball uh, we haven't played spin so much with the ping ball so it was a good learning for for us as a batting unit whenever we play the next i think you know will be very well equipped uh, to handle that so can you talk about after the game no you know that special Thank you for that. Akshar was simply brilliant. I mean, we saw uh, you know just coming out from nowhere, uh, you know, in the squad is never easy, and to perform as well is never easy. First game, he was out injured. Uh, he was slightly down, uh, but then he came back, bowled very well in Chennai, and then bowled very well here as well. You know, he understands the conditions really well. Uh, you know, he uh, he knows how to. vary the pace uh, and what lines to bowl which is 
very very important uh, as a bowler uh, to understand your line uh, to the right hander to the left hander is very important and i think what he did brilliantly uh, in this game was he made the batter play uh, most of the balls which is always important on a wicket like that which uh, you you never know which one is going to turn which one is going to come straight so on a wicket like that it is important to bowl stump to stump and i think he did that pretty well uh, like i said it goes it it all goes to his skill set uh, he's got solid skill set bowls little wider uh, from the crease and slightly uh, you know slingy action as well uh, so it makes batsmen's uh, you know uh, uh, eyeline very difficult whether to leave or play so that is that is something uh, that makes him very very special that that skill set that he has